What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, going to keep this one nice and short today. I'm going to show you something that I consider to be a real huge time saver. I'm sure you've caught yourself in the scenario where you've gone ahead and you've recorded some tracks, and maybe you forgot to name the tracks when you recorded, and in the end, what ends up happening is you have things like this. You've got your audio events over here that took on the track name before you've gone ahead and renamed them. In addition to that, maybe you dragged a preset into the Studio One arrange window, and then you end up with an instrument part that takes on the full preset name, and maybe after that you've gone ahead and named it to pads, or perhaps you've just dragged an instrument on and it's done the same thing over here. So if you've ever wondered if there's a really quick way to rename all of the events that exist on a track according to your new track name, there is. And all we have to do is simply double click the track name over here. You'll see that it's highlighted in pink. And I'm just gonna click Shift Enter or Shift Return on my Mac keyboard. And you can see now that this audio event took on this track name. We'll go ahead and do the same thing for here. And this also works on instrument parts. So for example, you'll notice I've got two instrument parts over here that are both named Bellish Bliss Pad. Let's go ahead, double click this. Again, Shift Return. These are both named pads. And then I could name this anything I wanted to. So maybe this would be something like Lead Synth. And again, all we have to do is just make sure that this is all highlighted and then Shift Return and then we're in business. Now, one thing that I wanna point out here is that if I was to go ahead and show this file in the pool, one thing to note is that the actual name of the audio event is still track one, but the visual name that we have over here is showing up to be the same as the track name, and we did that by doing the shortcut. Now, if you wanted to rename the actual audio event, of course, we could go ahead and just copy this in over here and then select this file in the pool, rename this file, and we can rename the actual file and event. But I find this way to be just a really, really smooth and easy way to do this. Now, one other thing that's kind of cool is when you're working with sampling, uh, let's go ahead and pretend that this was a bunch of you know, snare hits or something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just separate these based on my grid hits. Now, if I was to go in here and let's say that I wanted to, you know, do a fade out, let's just pretend these were all snare one shots of some sort. You'll notice that these all say track five. So let's say that I wanted to name this, I don't know, let's call this something like pop snare. If I go ahead and before I push return, I push my shift enter, you can see that all of these audio events took on the same name over here. They say pop snare. Now, if I was to use my rename events shortcut, which I've mapped out to a key command, you'll notice here that I can leave the name as pop snare, but I can add numbers. And then we can very quickly append numbers to our samples. And this does it in sequence. And that's really nice because if we wanted to, for example, come into a files tab over here, and I wanted to just drag all these and basically export them and render these into new files. We could just go ahead and do that. You can see we have these WAV files here and these will all be named numerically. So it's a super, super easy way to name your samples as well. So in addition to being just a cool quick tip for if you forgot to uh, change the name of your track, or perhaps you're borrowing instrument parts from another track and then you want to give the actual instrument part, the actual event, the proper name. And if I change my mind for anything, for example, I could go like airy pads, then I could just do that same shortcut. And again, that is just making sure that you have to first of all, double click so that this is selected. And then once you're in this text field, just clicking the shift return or shift enter, and you can rename all of these events very easily. So anyways, just a really quick tip for you there. Uh, really, really useful for me. I use this every single day that I'm working in Studio One. I use it all the time. It's really handy when sampling. So if you've got something from this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.